back at Gulf Shores Golf Club for 18 holes on a really nice day, about 72 degrees. Playing the Blue Tees, which play about 6,400 yards. First hole is 325 yard dog leg right. Hit a good drive right down the middle and a good second shot. So I have this put for birdie. Go a little bit past. It was kind of a downhill putt. But I tap that in for the par. So on to number two. 417 yard par four. And just like the last time I played it, I flared my drive off to the right and had to lay up because the or green is protected by water and trees and it's just a little too risky to go for it when it's over 200 yards. So that third shot, I'm able to get on the green and I have this putt for par. And can't make it, so that is a five. So I go to one over. This was definitely my worst drive of the day, and probably worst drive in a couple of weeks. Hit it straight right, right through those trees, into the fairway, or actually the rough, on a hole next to me. Coming back, I think it was like the sixth hole. But hit a good five wood back into my fairway. But didn't hit a very good third shot, so I have this bunker shot that I need to get up and down to save par. <clears throat> Not a bad bunker shot. Got a pretty good shot at par here. Just leave it short. So, back-to-back -back bogeys go to two over, going into the par three. Hit a really solid, I believe a six iron, right over the pin. But hit it a little bit too good but make a really nice chip coming back tap that in for par so stay at two over going to the fifth hole 406 yard par four got a good drive right down the middle and pretty good second shot Even that was an eight iron. And have a pretty good look at birdie. But another one just uh, just not enough to get it to the hole, but tapping par is good. Not sure if you heard that, but it hit that wood fencing right along the green. And bounced it about 30 yards over the green. But I guess I got lucky because everything on this side of that wood is water. So it might have saved me a shot, actually. So I have this for par. And just miss another one. So that is a bogey four. And I go to three over going into the par five seventh hole. A 
that shot tracer was way off. I hit that driver pretty straight, right down the right side of the fairway, just short of that fairway bunker. Then hit another really good five wood. And a decent wedge. It's a pretty long par five, 566 yards. So definitely a three shot hole. So anything on the green and regulation is good. So I have this for a birdie. And again, just miss. But take the tap in par, going into number eight. Yeah, five wood I caught really thin, tried to take some off of it and just uh, worm burned it. So left me that wedge for my second shot. So I need this for par. And another one just, just not getting those putts. lined up right or something but uh, number nine the longish par four 400, 433 yards good drive just short of the fairway bunker and hit a really good five wood pin high but just off the green so I have this chip for birdie Pretty good chip. Leave me uh, left me about three feet for par. I think I need this to break forty for the front nine. Yeah, so that's par. So that's four over thirty nine, since it's a par thirty five. So back nine number ten is four hundred thirteen yard par four. Pretty good drive down the left side of the fairway. Left me. 5-iron into the green, and they hit it really well, just a little bit short. Just on the front fringe. So another up and down opportunity. Not a bad chip. but a horrible putt. So, unfortunate bogey. Number 11, short, 310 yard, par four. I decide just to hit a three wood and lay up to about 50 yards. Or 60, I don't know. I forget what I uh, laid it up to, but uh, hit a pretty good wedge. And another missed birdie putt, but take the par. So I stay at five over, going into number 12, 383 yard par four, good drive. Overall, I drove it really well today, just a couple of loose drives. Kind of hit that one a little heavy, so left me about 15 to 20 yards short of the green. A group let me play through, so I was probably rushing just a little bit, but it hit a really good chip. Thought this had a chance to go in. Just missed, so I picked that up for par. Tapped it in. Left me at five over, going into 165 yard par three. Hit it pretty good, just a little bit long and left. Left me this downhill chip, which again, made a pretty good chip. Chipped it pretty well today. It's pretty much within what should be routine, but it's never routine for me inside of four feet, but that one goes in. So a good three. 
on to number 14, par 5, 476 yards. Tracer was off. I hit it, hit it right of the fairway. And, yeah, if you heard that and saw the limb fall, I hit a really good five wood and thought I could get it over that tree, but I did not. So it left me about 165 yards for a third shot. Hit it pretty good just to the far left side of the green. So it had, it left me this at least 50 foot putt up the hill. I probably overcompensated for the uphill putt. Sent it past out of camera range. So left this 10 to 12 footer coming back for par. And I finally make a putt needed that so heads to the 15th 140 yard par three hit a nine iron hit it really well just uh it started to just overdrew on me a little bit landed in the green side bunker about pin high i had a little bit of a backstop to work with so i hit it a little bit past the pin it did come back a little bit but not as much as i thought so I had this downhill, eight to 10 footer for par. And just a little bit past, but I tapped that in for bogey. Going into number 16, hit a good drive down the left-hand side of the fairway. It's a 344 yard par four. This was probably my worst wedge of the day. It hit the embankment, but it hit it where, right at the edge of the water, which was just mud. So it plugged, I never found it. So I chipped up from down there, my fourth shot. This is for bogey five after my penalty. And yeah, bad, bad double bogey from 120 yards out. So going into 17, a long 438 yard par four, tough hole. But I hit a really good drive, hit a decent five wood, just tailed a little bit left at the end. And this was my best chip shot of the day by far. Blind shot. Had to carry a ridge and then play the the hill back to the right, which I did. I thought it might have a chance to go in, but sort of ran out of steam coming down the hill. But I think that putt saved the par. 18, par 5, 504 yards, hit a really good drive. Right down the middle, have this five wood. It's about 250 to the water in front of the green, so I'm pretty safe hitting the five wood. Shot tracer didn't pick it up, but it was pretty good. Straight as straight as I can hit that five wood, left me about 50 yards to the pin and hit it about 45 yards. So I need this putt to shoot uh, for birdie, which would give me 39, a three over 39 on the back, which is always nice to break 40. And I get another putt to drop. So 39, 39 for a 78. See you on the next one.